Uh, Mayor Farbridge, welcome to uh, Live uh, Net Net Light News B Network. Uh, you have given an invaluable Diwali gift to the Gulf Asian Committee in advance by recognizing the need and getting the bylaw changed yesterday in the Transit and Operations Committee. Uh, we thank you on behalf of the Asian, South Asian community. Uh, community. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm really pleased that we were able, you brought this to our attention, and I'm really pleased that we were able to find a good solution for your community. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we have also seen, like even before, you have been involved directly with the community, whether it's the Gulf Muslim Society or we see on every each and every occasion that you take care of uh, the communities. I think that brings a uh, good harmony between uh, people and uh, better understanding. Yeah. And finally, it, of course, it adds to the safety of uh, Gulf. Yeah. Uh, now, well, we know that you are comfort upon the uh, Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Medal. What do you feel about it? Well, I was very mm -hmm. honored to receive the medal. Um, I received it in my capacity as the mayor of the city of Guelph. So I feel like I had the, the honor of receiving it on behalf of the community. And it was really a, a, to signify the, the, the role that this community has played in building this country. So it's not only that uh, Guelph is the fastest, one of the fastest growing city of Canada, but also I think the quality, that's going up. Yes. So that is attributed to you, I think. Well, quality of life, I think we yes. enjoy a really good quality of life. Um, we're recognized as a great place to raise a family. It's a caring community. Lots of people volunteer. We're very inclusive. We have a growing diversity in our community, and, and I think we really embrace that well. We want to um, be, be engaged in that. Um, so we're a very green community. We've got a lot of environmental initiatives that are going on as well. So um, it's a great community. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, what's your vision of Gulf versus different uh, communities? Well, I think what we're trying to, um, I think what we're trying to do is is really say that we strongly believe in strong city building, like we, and that city building is more than just making sure you've got the roads and the pipes and all that important infrastructure, and that you're a safe community, but that it, it, it is about um, the opportunities to be part of your community, whether it's cultural events or places that you can gather, or parks and our trails. So for us, I think it's, it's about not only a good, strong economy so that our businesses can flourish and there's good jobs for people, but that we take care of the environment, the cultural aspects, and also how people live, the social aspects of it as well. well that, that's fantastic. Uh, I think even on internet, if you research about golf, it says that it is one of the safest city. Yes. Now, uh, did you take some specific steps? Do you, uh, uh, did you coordinate uh, uh, too well with the golf police uh -huh. and other communities, or are you always, you know, um, sort of keeping a sort of stick on the police chief of the city that you know uh, it is the safest city, or it? It's just, are you trying to, uh, is it because of, because you're involved so much with the community that from internally, I think it comes from the public, their, um, you know, mindset has changed. Yeah. So. I think it's a number of things, and I think you've touched on many of them. So I think part of it is because we are um, a caring community, we're an engaged community. Um, when people feel like they belong to a community, I think that helps to reduce crime. Um, if you've got good jobs for people, things for young people to do. Um, so I think that's a piece of it. But I think we've also been blessed with a, a very um, a strong Guelph uh, Police Service who have embraced the idea of community policing um, before it was popular. Like today, everyone is trying to do community policing, but we were doing community policing a long time ago. Um, so uh, previous chiefs up to the current chief who is very much about getting his service out into the community and engage with the community. So um, just really good policing, um, community policing, and, and, a, and a great community that's prepared to support that. I think more than the police, I think the mindset, I think probably uh, that changing that is, uh, that, that works better, I think, rather than policing. And uh, what I have uh, learned from uh, uh, various interviews and meeting people that uh, because 
I think you are on top of almost each and everything. You know how how what is the improvement in particular community? What you can do to help them? I think that probably changed the mindset mindset, and uh, yeah. that might have contributed something too. Yeah. Uh, what uh, Karen? I have come across many people uh, you know who have been li living in Gulf for long, and I think they have. They are concerned about the university traffic increasing. Uh, by traffic, of course, I, I mean the students. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the session, uh, there are some reports, oh, my tires have been busted. Uh, you know, uh, for some people, the lawns have been vandalized. Uh, how do you see this? And do you have some plan to, you know? We've been do this has been a big issue in our community, and so we've done a lot of work on it. And I want to start by saying that we're very fortunate to have a university in our community, and and that they attract this energy, you know, this young people and talent and new ideas into our community. I think that contributes to our quality of life as well. They've added to culture and our history, so there's a very positive part of it. But we are experiencing some some negative impacts of, of uh, in the shared rental housing and impacts on neighborhoods and the quality of life and peace and quiet of a neighborhood. And so, um, while policing's a piece of it, 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 where we get most of our success is trying to engage with these people. So we have a great partnership between the police and the city and the University of Guelph. We do a lot of work when new students are coming into the community. Um, we engage them on social media, we have volunteers that connect with them to welcome them to the community. Um, make the point, you've got neighbors. And, uh, and so I think we get a lot just by engaging people and reminding them that um, you, know, you need to respect the neighbors that are around you. So we do a lot of work there and we've seen a lot. So we call that uh, enhanced enforcement and that we're not just going out reacting to things, but proactively going out and trying to stop problems before they even start. Of course, prevention is better than cure. And uh, so we've, yeah, we've had a lot of success in doing that. Um, that doesn't mean it's perfect and that there aren't still impacts. And so we have to continue to work when there are impacts. But the more we can prevent, the better. Uh, can you uh, tell us something about the city's cor uh, corporate strategic plan and the strategic initiatives this year? Yeah. Um, the strategic, corporate strategic plan for this term of council um, is really focusing on three areas. One is good, strong, steady building. So, you know, we, we manage and building a city, growing city. Um, local government excellence, which is really about our people and making sure that um, we provide them with the resources and tools to do the best job for our citizens. And then doing business differently. So just because we've done something the same way for a couple of decades doesn't mean it's the right way to do it today in a, you know, in a modern urban city. The times are changing. Times are changing. And so we're really uh, uh, you know, forcing ourselves to examine how we do business so that we can be faster, we can be more responsive to our citizens, be more effective, more efficient. So some of the, you know, one simple project is looking at how we use energy and energy conservation. So we have a, an energy management plan which is projecting to save us about $11 million in 10 years. And $11 million can go a long That's way doing absolutely. something else. And uh, so things like that. Um, open government is another area and open data where we, we collect a lot of data. So how do we take that data, put it out in the community and let their creativity set loose on it, right? And so lots of opportunities there. So basically the historical analysis plus innovation. So yeah. that's, the, that's, that's top of uh, the, uh, that takes the results to the top. Yeah. Um, in reality check, uh, Karen, uh, you are found to be most accessible. We've spoke to a lot of people in uh, Guelph. Uh, we spoke outside Guelph too, but in Guelph especially, we spoke to almost uh, uh, different communities. And I went personally, uh, just asked, do you know who the mayor is? And 90% of the people knew your name by name. That's yes, Karen Fabridge is uh, the uh, mayor. Does it come from your family? Uh, were, were somebody in your, uh, some of your relatives uh, on such positions that you are well known? 
or you know it's sort of education that you have managed things in such a way that you know okay this is my marketing plan you have marketed you, uh, you, uh, yourself so well everyone knows or there is a magic band you carry <laughs> there's something yeah, for sure well i i think um i think it's pr comes from a, for me it's it's i really like people and i enjoy people and uh and i see a lot of creative i see everything as being connected and so that comes very easily to me. And so um, I see lots of ideas in the community, lots of opportunities in the community, and it's about connecting with them. And so I think that's what sort of motivates me and drives me to do that. Um, my education was in fish physiology, so it didn't come from any marketing background or anything like that. Um, but I think, yeah, I think that's it. And, uh, and I get, I'm very pleased that you say that because I do work hard to um, connect with people and make myself accessible. There's only so many hours in the day and I do have to have a private life and a family life as well. Um, but I do try to make myself accessible. So I'm very pleased that, that I get that feedback and it just motivates me to do more. So. Well, thank you very much. We know that uh, you're short of time today. Uh, it was a pleasure having you uh, on Newsbee Network and thank you very much for your time, Mayor It's Farage. my pleasure, thank you very thank much. You very much.